not a lot. Actually, one thing I have been up to, I went to see um, I went to see that new film American Sniper at the weekend weekend, um, which is excellent. Definitely worth a watch. Really good film. Really enjoyed it. Uh, I knew a little bit about the guy anyway. I've read stuff about him before. Is it Chris Kyle? I think his name is something like that. Um, the most like lethal sniper in American history is the sort of byline of it. But, uh, really, really good film. Definitely worth a watch. It's not, you know, you'd be tempted with that kind of because anytime they mention him, they always say that oh, America's most decorated or most lethal sniper in American history. And you're like, oh fuck me, this is going to be some real sort of banner waving here. Just have a. Um, Master Amp from playing the whole way through it, but it actually isn't. Um, you know, it touches on that slightly, like his motivations behind it. Why the hell you'd do a job like that? Um, or why he would. But it does sort of go out of its way to sort of hammer home the sort of cost of that heroism in terms of like the psychological sort of trauma it inflicted on him and all those around him really um, and like the things he has to do like I said there's no way that you would come back unscathed from that really it's pretty um, it's pretty harsh it's quite a sad film um, I saw I knew what the ending was anyway because you know like I said I've read about him before but it's been filmed in a very sort of nice way and you know, you can't help but get a bit sort of choked up at the end of it, which is what it's been put together to do, really. The ending is... They've obviously done it to go out on a emotional... Well, I don't know if high is the correct word, but... We're out on a big emotional note. But no, definitely worth a watch. Best film I've seen in a long time, actually. Um... A lot of stuff I've seen recently has been pretty shit, but that was really good. Bradley Cooper is really good in it as well. Like I always like Bradley Cooper anyway, but this is the first thing I've really seen him in that um, had some real sort of sort of deep emotion to it. I know he's done sort of dramas before, like you know Silver Lining Playbook and all that kind of shite, but. It's definitely a really good performance from him. It's a good performance from Sienna Miller as well. Once again, like Eastwood just nailed it. I mean, he does have a hell of a knack for this directing malarkey. There aren't that many films of his I've seen that I was never that big a fan of. Um, one of his best yet, maybe, I don't know. Like I said, I like, I've liked a lot of his films, but he always kind of makes those films that I don't want to watch again. Like I'm a massive movie fan. And I will happily sit and watch the same movies over and over again, along with all the new stuff that comes out. And that I would actually watch again. Whereas, like, you know, he has made loads of rather really good films. And, you know, films like Gone, uh, not Gone Girl, what's the name? Million Dollar Baby and all that kind of carry on. Um, but as good as that, those sort of films are, I wouldn't want to watch them again. But this I definitely would. So there you go. Not the most in-depth uh, review in, in the world. I don't think I'm going to get much of a career out of that one. But what more do you need to know? It's extremely good. It's definitely worth watching. I would definitely go see it. <laughs>